Hey there, I want to talk today about uh, online payments and use of credit cards in South America. Specifically, Ecuador is where I am right now. Uh, do I need to be out on the patio to talk about this? No, I just thought the background looked nice. But I'll go in the office for most of this conversation, I think. So, the conventional wisdom, and certainly what you hear a lot on YouTube videos and written literature, is that this is a cash-only environment. And certainly, cash is king down here. That's not a question. However... It's not a cash-only environment. You can live your life without ever walking anywhere to pay a bill other than your friendly internet uh, computer terminal. Uh, I use cards to pay frequently in restaurants, almost exclusively, because, well, I don't like carrying a bunch of cash around with me. So I'll just carry a piece of plastic around with me. Well, technically platinum around with me, but you got the idea. And um, that's how I pay for things down here in Ecuador. That's how I paid for things in... Colombia, with the exception of some small, you know, small little shops where they uh, appreciate the cash, but frankly, I don't go to them too much. Pretty much everywhere takes uh, cards, even the American Express, which you'll hear, oh, you got to have a MasterCard. Nope, American Express works just fine down here as well. So I'll break down what I do, how I manage to pay for everything online here in Ecuador, and what I carry with me for plastic. Talk to more about this. Uh, I think we'll go back in the office and sit down. Let's talk about it there. So as I mentioned in the in the intro to this video, uh, the adage of cash is king is certainly a realistic assessment down here in South America. And for reference, I am in Ecuador. I think everyone already knows that. Uh, but this applies to at least Colombia and cer certainly Mexico, uh, more so to Mexico than any place else, actually. So uh, in my travels throughout South America, I have actually had no problem whatsoever uh, finding a place, and, and almost all of them do. In fact, I seldom find a restaurant, a store, um, a shop that doesn't take a credit card. Um, there's the small mom and pop ones like cash, and uh, even if they take credit cards, they still kind of want cash, which is fine. But in any normal size city, you know, the city I'm living in is, is 300,000, certainly Quito, Guayaquil, uh, Bogota, Medellin, the, the Cabo area, any tourist area, of course, in Mexico. Uh, yeah, they take cards in any uh, major city. They take cards. And I've not had any problem finding a place to take cards. That's even my American Express card, which uh, it's well known. That I love my American Express card. They make me pay it off every month, which is good for me, that being forced to do that. Uh, and, and the points and the lounges, I, I just eat that stuff up, obviously. But every place takes cards, mostly American Express. And I do keep um, a Visa card, a MasterCard around. Uh, I think most recently a MasterCard for American Airlines uh, because I have sort of this general goal of I don't want to spend a single dime if it doesn't get me points if I can avoid it. So if I can't get it on my MX, I'll get it on my um, American Airlines MasterCard. So I've not had problems. Now, living a lifestyle, though, where you're, where you're doing a slow motion sort of nomadic uh, system like I am, where I've actually set up shop for a while now down here in Ecuador, where I've got bills that I have to pay. Well, that's a little harder, okay? That, that gets a little trickier. But the solution is actually pretty simple. Open up a local bank account. If you open up a local bank account, just like in the US, you'll get a debit card that's tied to that ba bank account. Well, guess what? Everyone around here uses that online. And one quirk that was very weird to me down here in Ecuador, and I, I see this also in Colombia, that uh, direct bank transfers are common. I, I don't think I'd actually done a direct bank transfer to an individual before I started coming to South America. You know, in the US, we we pay with PayPal, we pay with Venmo, uh, Cash App. Um, it's easy. Down here, direct transfers from your bank account to another bank account is a normal thing. However, you have to have a local bank account. Can you do it from US Bank? You can. Uh, can you do it through Western Union? Yeah, you can. It's, it's difficult. And actually, the from a U.S. bank directly to an individual bank account 
in South America, if you can do it, I don't know how, but certainly SWIFT transactions to other banks and uh, large banks, et cetera, down here are very doable. But the easy solution is open up a local bank account. And that's what I did. I have a bank account and I didn't go with a small bank. I went with a larger bank down here. Uh, I won't, well, I'll give it the name, sure. Uh, it's not like you can do anything with it. Uh, I'm using the bank at Guayaquil. There's other banks that are perfectly fine here. A bank at Guayaquil uh, decision was based on its proximity. Uh, it's a branch proximity to where I live and their cheap ATM fees. So there wasn't a lot of scientific thought that went into that. Like I said, there's plenty of banks down here that are good and solid. Uh, bank of Guayaquil is certainly one of them. Uh, so I opened up a bank account there. I did quiz them quite a bit before I opened up the bank and looked at friends who had it and at their app on their phone. And from the app on the phone, you can pay everything. I could pay my cell phone bill. I can transfer money to pay um, the housing costs down here. I can pay my electric bill. I can pay my net life bill down here. Although I think I actually pay that just with a debit card online. So you can do everything through the banking app. And if you have the local account, those cards are frequently used down here. Now, things like the local uh, electric utility, the um, internet down here, they will take debit cards. However, they do not take US-based credit cards or US-based debit cards for that matter either. They want local ones. I have no idea why. Um, it's not my place to argue with them. That's what they take. So again, local bank account, local debit card solves all these problems. For the past two or three months, I've not paid a bill in person. I pay them all online. Like I said, my, my housing expenses I pay online, uh, my internet I pay online, my electric I pay online. The only thing I go physically to pay for is food because I want to go to the store and pick it out. I could probably have it delivered to be honest. Um, now, various people down here and various services have a, a splattering of other things. Some are only cash, the small mom and pops. But a lot of people, especially expat services down here, they'll take Z Zelle, they'll take PayPal, um, they'll take Venmo. You have to seek them out and look for them and ask them because they're not going to come forward with that. But you you can find them. Now, I don't do a lot with Zelle, PayPal, and Venmo. Most of it's direct banking and um, uh, debit card payments. And of course, entity restaurant, like I said, uh, my US-based credit cards are taken everywhere. You know, my, my American Express. And of course, like I said, I keep a MasterCard handy for those rare occasions where people do not take American Express. Now, I'm not super brave either. I need to make sure I got like, you know, 60, 80 bucks in my pocket when I go out and about just in case I find a great spot that I want to try and they don't take cards. But it hasn't actually cropped up. Every place I walk to, every bar, restaurant, uh, grocery store, all have taken credit cards. I think that the story of no one will take credit cards is an old story down here. Uh, we've modernized a lot down here in South America. Now, I'm not saying that if you get to like the small little towns in the middle of nowhere between two major cities, no, maybe they don't take credit cards. But you know what? I don't really like hanging out in those places. They don't have good internet. They don't, gotta, they don't have good cell phone service. I don't want to be there. I hang out in major uh, cities. If you want to go hang out in these small cities, valid life choice. That's fine. Just be prepared that maybe this advice on you can use credit cards, everything, everywhere may not hold true in these small cities. I'm talking about uh, Monte Ecuador, a town of 300,000, Guayaquil, Quito, Cuenca, uh, Bogota, Medellin, like I said, the, the Cabos, Mexico City. These are major areas advanced and modern, and they all take cards. And that's where I hang out. So just a word. Word of caution there. If you want to go off the grid to that small little town of 100 people um, hanging off an side of an Andes mountain somewhere, you might want to double check and make sure you uh, they do take cards or carry some cash with you. Of course, that has its own risk carrying cash in some of the areas in South America. I don't want to rant too much on this. I just want to point it out that I thought I, I thought it was overblown and all the stuff I've had because like I said, 
I pay everything online. I pay with credit card, just like I did the U.S. Different paths, but at the end of the day, paying everything online, paying everything with my AMX card for the most part. And I like it. I'm happy. And that works for me. Hope you find this useful. And I will put a link to the Guayaquil, Bank of Guayaquil, uh, Banco de Guayaquil that I use. Again, I've had good experience with them. There are other good banks down here. This is not the only one. So uh, take care and I hope you find these videos helpful.